Ubisoft drama. So what's happening now is Ubisoft, apparently, they are looking for buyout. All right, Ubisoft founding, Guillemot family and shareholder Tencent are reportedly considering teaming up to take the company private following a number of high-profile video game flops and the collapse of its share price. So apparently, this is something that has been talked around a lot. All right, it's something that I'll, I've been seeing more and more often, and definitely, I have a feeling that this could probably be just a matter of time. All right, Ubisoft is not doing too well, but I'm quite surprised. Like right now, this is going to be the time for Tencent to board them over or something. Here's a profitable idea to make games players want to buy. So this has been uh, something that is happening a lot actually in uh, for the last couple of days and has been discussed around a lot. And people are just clowning on Ubisoft. People are wishing the worst thing that will happen to Ubisoft. There's a lot of Ubisoft haters. All right. If you guys are one of the Ubisoft haters and you want them to flop, there's a response from a Ubisoft monetization director at Ubisoft, Stevi Chasat. All right. So this person has come out to protect Ubisoft, Ubisoft White Knight. All right. So what does he have to say about Ubisoft? So let's have a let's have a read, right? I rarely post on social media, but today I am sad. I'm ashamed and sad. All right, so why is he so upset about what's happening? The gaming industry is rough at the moment. We all know it. But seeing how gamers react on social medias, wishing ill fate to companies and people alike is sad. And not only towards Ubisoft, but it's mainly towards them. It's mainly towards Ubisoft, right? The Ubisoft haters. They're hating on Ubisoft, all right? Even though it is always the vocal minority that express themselves on social media, I was hurt, hurt and ashamed to be a part of this community. What community? The gaming community, all right? <laughs> Not the monetization director. The monetization director, man. Huh. So, what is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry. On top of exposing yourself as a clearly non-decent human being, you are affecting thousands of employees. They are already impacted by all the hate, despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. Uh, I'm not sure if they are actually doing their best. I I find it a little bit odd, because like you can clearly tell. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen like those clips right of Star Wars outlaws being shared around, um, where the game they compare the not Ubisoft now with Ubisoft ten years ago, right? The AI has gotten worse and everything. So it feels like the game is going downhill. It's getting worse, man. It's not getting better. I, I, I don't think they're trying their best, actually. I feel like something is definitely off within the company itself. Microsoft Takeover, uh, unlikely, or Sony or Tencent. I don't think so, right? That Because Microsoft already acquired Blizzard, why would they try to like uh, do that, right? But yeah, uh, right now, sadly, Ubisoft is just... If the game is not good, the game is not good, right? Uh, it doesn't really matter. If, uh, if the game is not good, you just have to like improve and listen to the audience and be willing to switch it up, right? Like a lot of games, uh, I see them doing this, right? For example, I think Wuthering is one of those. The devs listen. You gotta listen, right? You gotta always have, you gotta always be the devs that listen. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you? I mean, if if the company don't cater to you, why would they care uh, in particular about your failure or not, right? Uh, the product does not please you. I think it depends, right? If certain games, I think it's like pretty much made for the gamers and then they go and switch it up. A lot of things are being uh, changed and much more to push like the political narrative of the game, all right, Pot political agenda in these kind of games. It does make people like upset and not like it as well. <sighs> their last game literally had early access. People lose their saves. I think you're talking about the Star Wars Outlaws, right? Yeah, I did. I did read that a little bit as well. They don't cater to 99 gamers. Yeah, they don't cater to a lot of gamers sadly, right? I can't remember when was the last. I think Ubisoft was one of the few. Uh, company that I think back then was like quite famous. Assassin's Creed was super famous. And there was Raymans as well. Uh, it caters to no one. It caters to no one, right? Um, we are all on the same boat. Please stop spreading hate. We should all uplift each other 
instead of bringing each other down. Ah, uh, no, I feel like it's not about people to uplift you. I think it's your job to to make good products, right? If you are trying to like make games, you have to make sure that your games are good. Like, I don't think you can expect people to uplift you if your game sucks. And if your game sucks, people are going to hate, right? That's just how it is. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be something that will happen more and more. There's a reason why Concord fails. Uh, I can see like if you're trying to push like DEI stuff and political stuff in the games, which even though they say they are not doing that, but it seems to, to be that's the case. Based on players' eyes, it doesn't matter what you say at that point, right? It caters for people that don't play games. Yeah, if it caters to people that don't play games, then of course, of course that's going to be how it is, right? Games with low quality, bugs, uh, no soul and eventually bad management. And I also heard that the games are quite expensive, right? I heard that a lot of the Ubisoft games are quite expensive. They have like a pre-order and stuff. And one more thing is I also heard that they weren't, around, they weren't available on Steam as well, at least the previous few ones. Toxic positivity, just make good games. Yeah, you just gotta make good games, right? So this is the Ubisoft drama that uh, we have seen more and more. You won't buy because it doesn't make games that cater to you. Trying to cancel fellow devs and silence them for being non-decent human beings. If they disagree, while gaslighting and blaming gamers for hate. Ubisoft and UB defenders were the ones calling us. Racist bigots for not liking your games. You started this hate. Catering to gamers and pleasing them is literally your job. Yeah, I think that's true, right? If it's minority of gamers that are complaining, then why are the revenues dropping like stones? Yeah, uh, I, I feel like the minority in this case is like pretty much no one. Make games for us or perish. It's never their fault no matter what. Gaslighting. How can you wish a company to fail? Wait, what, what is this guy saying? Um, when the company continually gaslights me, makes me waste my increasingly hard-earned money by not being upfront about a buggy and defective product, not liking the political agendas they inject into games, they them, body type A, body type B, charging me increasingly more for com half complete experiences while expecting me to pay even more for the rest of the game. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind gonna I'm gonna kind of want that company to go down in flames. I think that's what he meant to say. I'm kind gonna want that I think he typed it wrong. I'm gonna kind of want that company to go down in flames is what he meant to say, I think. Yeah, uh I agree with this this uh this user right here, right? Definitely. Sadly that game Prince Prince flop in sales. What Prince of Persia? Oh I never really I never really look into that. But a lot of their games weren't available on Steam, right? At least... Yeah, I'm not sure about the Prince of Persia. I only know the Star Wars kind of flop, right? They make the girl look uh, a little bit ugly. Uh, I'm not sure like intentional or by like... By them just not not knowing how to design like a proper character that looks good. It doesn't really matter though, right? I feel like the game has to be good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see... I, I've seen like bad clips of that particular game, Star Wars Outlaws. Pretty much everywhere. And they still have Assassin's Creed for now, right? So we'll have to see, right? Maybe Assassin's Creed will carry them back to the top. 